Hey guys, 22nd vlog of the year, and uh, it's like 4 o'clock in the morning. I just got uh, back home from hanging out with some friends, and I'm going to do my vlog and then go to sleep. <laughs> um, so today was the, uh, I'm going to talk about American football, so if you're not from America and you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. Um, it'll all be over soon, because the next game that will be played is the Super Bowl. Uh, today was the NFC and AFC championships, uh, championship games between uh, the 49ers and the Giants and the Patriots and the Ravens. And at the beginning of the day, my friend uh, Eric asked me, uh, yeah, who do you think is going to win, who do you think is going to be in the Super Bowl? And I'm thinking 07 rematch. And I was like, yeah, me too. Giants, Patriots, uh, same teams that were in the 2007 uh, Super Bowl facing off again uh, five years later in the 2012 Super Bowl. So, um, yeah, it's a rematch. Um, well, I guess it's four years later, isn't it? Because that was actually the 2008 uh, Super Bowl for the 2007 season. Anyway, but I'm not really here to talk about the Super Bowl or the fact that I was right. Because <laughs> I thought that the, it was going to be Saints-Patriots in the Super Bowl. That was my original prediction if you look back uh, at my second vlog of the year. Um, but uh, I didn't... I, I underestimated the Giants. And the reason I underestimated them is because I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan. And uh, when the Giants beat us in the final game of the regular season, I was like, well, the Cowboys just suck. You know, it's not, I, I didn't give the Giants credit where credit is due. Um, I just said, well, we lost because we suck, not because the Giants are good. And you know what, I, I, think, I think that's a major flaw in, in sports, in professional sports, in high school sports, at sports of every level. It, it seems like people all too often assume that you lose a game because you are not good enough. And I mean, you aren't good enough, but the reason that you lost is because the other team is better. It's not necessarily your fault. And I think that's the case uh, with the Giants-Cowboys. The Giants were just, just a red-hot team, and I completely underestimated them the entire playoffs. I said, oh, well, the Packers will beat them this week. Oh, well, you know, and then, uh, and then, you know, Giants versus 49ers, I thought the Giants would win. Um, but I will tell you what, um, the 49ers should have won that game. They, the 49ers should have won the Giants 49ers game. The reason the 49ers lost is Kyle Williams. He's the reason the 49ers lost because Kyle Williams muffed to he oh man Kyle Williams is the reason the 49ers lost it, it's there's no question you can't blame Alex Smith you can't Alex Smith played his butt off two touchdowns good uh, yardage he had 42 yards on the ground even including that long 26 yarder or whatever it was in the uh, fourth quarter um, is uh, the only, uh, the only person to blame is Kyle Williams. If Ted Ginn had been in instead of Kyle Williams, the 49ers would have won. Now let's recap on everything wrong that Kyle Williams did. There was that play in the first half uh, where it was third down and he fumbled the ball. He recovered it. Um, the Giants didn't take it, but he caused them to punt. That didn't lose them the game though, but it did set them back. Um, then there was the punt that hit his kneecap and the Giants recovered that one and it led to a touchdown. That's seven points caused by Kyle Williams. Now, because, you know, and they might have scored the touchdown anyway, but um, on like the 49ers might have gone three and out and the Giants might have scored that touchdown anyway. But the fumble, you know, the muffed punt from Kyle Williams gave them momentum on the 49ers side of the field. Then in overtime, he fumbles on another punt return. The Giants get it. They kick a winning field goal. The Giants scored 10 points off of Kyle Williams' turnovers. Otherwise, the score would have been 17-10. to 10. Now, uh, it's not completely fair to say that because... You know, we don't know how the possessions would have gone if Kyle Williams hadn't muffed that punt in the third quarter. So, but the 49ers should have won that game. Now, I still think that the Giants will beat the Patriots next week. Um, and it's just a matter of defenses. Uh, I mean, you saw today that the Ravens couldn't beat the Patriots. And again, uh, 
you can't blame Joe Flacco for the Ravens' loss today. You just can't. You can't say, and you know what? I was on NFL.com after the game looking at the comments like I always do and just getting mad at people because there's so many stupid comments. And uh, there was this one idiot. He said, I blame Joe Flacco for this loss, not Billy Cundiff. I couldn't believe it. I was like, you blame Joe Flacco because Billy Cundiff missed a field goal. By the way, let me say this about former Cowboys kickers. They all suck, and everyone needs to cut them. Sean Sweesham, Nick Folk, uh, and uh, I just said his name, the kicker for the Ravens, Billy Cundiff. Just cut them all. Just get rid of them. They, they suck. The, 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 uh, as a Cowboys fan, I have lived through all of them. We're not even going to talk about Mike Vanderjat. Um, but yeah, just cut him. They're, you know, especially Nick Folk. I don't know why he's still in the league, to be honest. Um, so, uh, but anyway, moving on. Um, you cannot blame Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco, uh, if I'm right, he didn't throw an interception today. He, he threw for two touchdowns. Tom Brady, on the other hand, threw for two interceptions. Um, and the only touchdowns the Patriots scored were rushing touchdowns. One of which Tom Brady got. But I'm just saying, Joe Flacco outplayed Tom Brady today. You cannot blame Joe Flacco for the loss. It was Billy Cundiff's fault. Joe Flacco got them into field goal range. They need to kick a field goal to win. It's Billy Cundiff's fault. You can't blame Joe Flacco. End of story. And I have read enough articles bashing Joe Flacco. I've had up to here with it. It's just like Tony Romo. I'm sick of people bashing Tony Romo. I'm sick of people bashing Joe Flacco. They don't know what they're talking about. Uh, you can't just you can't lay everything on the quarterback's shoulders. It's not fair. He has to have, and, and you know, in Tony Romo's case, uh, this season, the reason the Cowboys were eight and eight is because you know Tony Romo did have a bad game against the Lions, and he did have a bad game against the Jets, where he threw interceptions. But the problem with the Dallas Cowboys is the secondary. End of story. And Tony Romo. Uh, only had DeMarco Murray for about half the season, and the Cowboys won almost all of those games with DeMarco Murray as the running back. So he needs a running game, and he needs a secondary. He needs a defense that isn't just DeMarcus Ware. And Joe Flacco needs a kicker. There you go. Um, and uh, I, I also think Joe Flacco needs better receivers. Anquan Bolden is great, uh, but who else do you have? Torrey Smith. Torrey Smith is fast, I guess. Uh, but, you know, I've seen him miss a lot of easy catches. He's, he's coming along. He's a rookie. So, whatever. But uh, all that's all I have to say about the NFC and AFC Championships, I guess. Uh, Niners should have won. I was rooting for them. I was rooting mainly for Alex Smith because he's been maligned by the sports media for years and nobody was going to give him a chance this year, and uh, Jim Harbaugh uh, gave him a chance, and they went, uh, they went um, thirteen and three, right? Um, maybe it was fourteen and two. I can't remember right now, but uh, they made it to the NFC Championship, and nobody really wanted to give him a chance. Everyone said the Saints were going to beat them, including me. So uh, I won the 49ers to win, but the Giants are in. And now I'm going to root for the Giants because I don't want the Patriots to win four Super Bowls in a decade. Um, because Patriots fans are annoying enough as it is, and I just don't want to hear it anymore. But we're the real America's team. That's what. I, okay, I'll tell you what, though. No fans are more annoying than Pittsburgh Steelers fans, and I will leave it at that. No fans are more annoying than Pittsburgh Steelers fans in the world. Like, if... Mm, Hmm. Okay. Uh, and that was another thing when I when I watched the you know when I looked at the comments for Ravens Patriots game, there were so many comments from Steelers fans, and I want to be like you guys lost to the Broncos. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it from you guys. Okay. So sorry if any of you guys are Steeler fans. You're probably cool Steeler fans, but you the, if you are cool Steeler fans, then you know what I'm talking about. You know about the bitch Steelers fans. Who, you know, yeah, the Steelers have won six Super Bowls. Hooray. Like, you know, that's, they won the most Super Bowls. Like, I, I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't take it. So, I'm glad they got out in the first round. 
So, uh, but yeah, I want the Giants to win. I'm annoyed by Giants fans too, just because I'm in the NFC East, but that's another story. Okay, this vlog was way longer than I meant for it to be. Football is awesome. So, yeah, if you ever want to talk football with me, I'm down. Um, anyway, okay, see you guys tomorrow.